Okay, so in response to uh, the question in the workbook, you probably wrote down something like Westlaw, Lexis, Bloomberg, something like that. Those are a good start, but actually um, the, the best treatises are, aren't even found on those websites. Um, it depends on each state. In Michigan, for instance, they're on ickle.org. So I'm going to show you three different ways to find, uh, find the best sources for you to, uh, to research the line, okay? All right, so let's look at these three things. We're going to look at what are called research guides. We're going to look at a library's uh, search engine, and then we'll look quickly at Lexis, Westlaw, and Bloomberg. Okay, so let's start with the Cooley research guides. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to find sources, and I want you to keep two things in mind. One thing specifically is we're looking for a treatise to research our copyright um, issue in. And then the second thing is more generally, we're, I want to show you how to find sources for any topic that you're going to have as um, a law clerk while you're in law school or as a, an attorney later on. So first of all, the research guides. All law schools have research guides. And for Cooley's, you just go to the Cooley website for the library and you click on Cooley Research Guides. You choose your topic, ours uh, intellectual property. And then we can click the topic over here, copyright. And our librarians have compiled the best resources. Marlene, in this case, has compiled the best resources for finding law. And they give you a little snippet about them, like here, this often cited work. Okay, so that's a clue. This Nimmer on copyright is kind of the go-to source. This one happens to be on Lexis. Um, Patri is another good one. It's on Westlaw Next. These two are available online because it's a national resource. Westlaw and Lexis do not have state-specific uh, treatises for the most part. The best ones are at other locations, and I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, and by the way, you might want to write down in the workbook how to access some of these things, some of the clicks that, that we're doing here. Okay, and then the second thing, the second way to find sources is just to use your, um, your library's search engine. Uh, for us, it's called CoolCat, Cooley Catalog, that is. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll just type in like copyright or something. You'll learn in Chapter 6 how to do better electronic searches and then you can look for books that are in the library in print um, and some electronic ones that um, are on your topic okay so pretty pretty simple there now let me show you some fee websites uh, let's start with Bloomberg Law so here is Bloomberg Law and you just click on search and browse books and treatises the BNA series is one of the best. Again, these are uh, national treatises, but uh, on a national topic like copyright law, you know, there that could be a really good resource. Okay, so that's Bloomberg Law. That's how you find sources. You can, of course, do like keyword word searching, and you'll learn about that later. But if you need to target a specific source, this is how you do it. In Lexis, you click on browse sources you know by category is a good one look at all this good stuff they have we want some secondary secondary materials now you can also search you know we could do copyright search here but you, you get the idea we clicked on browse sources and went from there okay in Westlaw you can click on practice areas intellectual property you know, choose your topic. And then here you have access to everything you need. Secondary sources, texts and treatises. There's that Patreon copyright law. Okay, so it's really easy in Westlaw. Just from the home page, you click on practice areas, intellectual property, and then over on the right, secondary sources will get you to your treatises. Of course, if you're at other parts in the research process, you can go to, you know, down here. Okay, and then finally, Ickle is specific to Michigan. You can um, 
sign up, of course. It, it's uh, kind of expensive for to get a subscription. But once you do, you have access to several hundred online books, seminars, videos, all kinds of resources, forms. If you need any kind of form to practice law in Michigan, you can find it here with awesome explanation of how to do it. Um, so if you are ever in a situation where you don't know how to deal with a certain case, go find an ICL treatise and you can take care of it. All right. Okay, so there are the three different ways to find sources. Use a research guide, use um, some kind of library catalog, and then finally you can uh, find sources by targeting them on the fee websites. Okay, all right, see you in the workbook.